live from the part of Austin where I get my own castle, and 48 is something to be, it's going to be a great night for Brian. Now, a birthday decree. Justin should do his best Ted night, and let's recall our top five most memorable birthdays, because here's your host, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young. Oh, Justin. Oh, Justin. Oh, freak out. Okay. Uh, 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 is that a command? <laughs> freak out. Ah! Am I doing it right? Yes. Okay. Listen. Now slower. Okay. Uh, <laughs> freak uh, out. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, Listen, uh, I, 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 I'm, I just, I'm just here to the open casting call for people who freak out. Freak out. Yes. Good. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Yep. It's not, you, you didn't give me a lot of direction. You're not, uh, the naturals don't need them. The naturals? Yeah, and you're one of them. Uh, My name is Steve Freakout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm the legacy heir of Freakouts R Us. What? My father, Ebenezer Freakout, <laughs> knew how to find the freakiest freaks of them all. And I gotta say, uh, you're a potential Mount Freak more inductee. Well, I I must admit I'm a bit confused. I thought there would be more competitors. I'm the only one who showed up for the casting call. Yeah. <laughs> is 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 that is that a statement on the state of freaking out or or of of my plucky can do attitude? Unfortunately, turn to the camera. Negative music starts playing. We haven't had a lot of success in the freak out world. <laughs> Nobody responds to print classified advertisements <laughs> looking for people who are looking to be freaked. Yeah, uh, uh, that's another thing. Like, I was surprised that newspapers were still a thing, but luckily uh, the, the, the alternative rag was here. But you, you're the future. I'm, I'm the future? Yes. Wait, did I, did I get the gig? Yes. Good. Because uh, it pays? You've got the gig. <laughs> <laughs> so my gig Freak out! <laughs> so my job is to freak out. Yeah. Who's our client base? Can, can you tell me a bit about the corporate structure? <laughs> Your first lesson. Never underestimate the power of the freak. Okay. When you're freaking out, you're not thinking about who's watching me or when am I going to turn a cheap buck you're thinking about the freak and the freak alone. <laughs> freak out! <laughs> okay, okay. You're losing it. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I, I, I'm you ready. giggled. This isn't chuckle out. Well, this isn't affability <laughs> hour. We're talking about freaking here. Okay. So, uh, uh, how will I know when it's time to freak out? Mostly when I yell freak out. <laughs> that is my job to just hang around you and wait for you to shout freak out. I mean, I'm not going to be in your bedroom. Like, I'm not going to wake you up. <laughs> but I'm not in gonna general, be, at your, be available. I'm not going to be at your child's bar mitzvah. Like, I'm, 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 I'm like it, it, in professional situations that I'll yell freak out. Right. Uh, and, and so uh, what about like uh, those dicey situations? Like you're in the middle of Avatar 2 and you shout freak out. Uh, am I to... Disturb the movie for everybody else? Lesson number two. <laughs> a good freak out is never early, <laughs> nor is it late. It arrives precisely when it... Freak out! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, like, right now, yeah. what, was I supposed to freak out? Yes. Okay. What the fuck did I yell <laughs> freak out? This is not a complicated idea. Not a complicated bit. I'm not <laughs> asking you to do trigonometry. Wait, 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 you, you just... I'm not coming to your child's bar mitzvah and telling you how to fly a plane. <laughs> uh, first all right? <laughs> I'm, I'm yelling freak out and you have to freak out. Uh, twice you brought up a bar mitzvah. I'm not sure what to I'm do with that. I'm just saying it's a common phrase in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. But but this but, is show business. Hey, given that I'm the only applicant for this job, what what today? Yes, the day of the auditions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, 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 freaking out. What is it? Freak out. You just. Okay. You want to know what? What? You want to know what? What? 
You're acting like I just came into your child's bar mitzvah and took a shit on the floor. <laughs> I'm not really feeling the vibe here. I thought there was a lot of promising energy. You got a lot of questions. Freak for out! Me. <laughs> ah! Didn't see that coming. And see. Okay. Hey, man, I'm old. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I dedicate that one to you, Brian. Uh, on I your 48th. Birthday. On on this the occasion of my on 40th. this your the occasion of your birth, we recognize Brian Brushwood as the inspiration for the freakout bit. <laughs> <laughs> hear ye, hear ye! <laughs> Henceforth, this day shall be known as the day Brian inspired the freakout bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's an honor. Yes. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Everybody ah! applaud. Everybody no, applaud. I... Brian, it's your birthday. Brian, it's your birthday. Hey, uh, you had you had a you had a weekend. Uh yeah. Where, where do you want to begin? Let's begin at the beginning. Okay. Uh William Shatner. That dude, that dude is yeah. uh, uh, energy. We went out bottle. to Lubbock. Yep. Which is a city in Texas. Yep. <laughs> I did not know what was in Lubbock. And then this dude was... Turns in... out we saw all of it. Yeah. <laughs> because you and I went for an hour-long walk we, each. We went for walks. Uh, uh, it turns out that our Uber driver was really into Texas Tech. Yep. And I was like, well, that's crazy. And he's like, that's because it's here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And that pretty much brings you into the exciting world of Lubbock. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, well, we were there because William Shatner, at the tender age of 92, 92. years old, what? is on a fucking tour where he does 75 minutes a night, and he was in the middle of a back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back stretch where he was doing that. You were the second of the four nights. Uh, it was amazing. It was it was insane, but but well, walk me through your what, what, your thoughts. He he was on fire, and uh, th there's sort of like a handshake, uh, uh, getting on the same page, the same wavelength. Uh, we had dinner backstage, and uh, I didn't know what I was going to be working with, but I was a little bit confused when William Shatner unironically asked, "What is a website?" Oh. Right. Oh. Uh, and so I'm like, uh, well, it's it's sort of like uh, it's a thing you display, uh, 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 picture a dry erase board, and you write something on it. That's a website. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but 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 that's like your your website is Gmail. I'm like, well, that I think you're thinking of email. Email is like uh, if your website is an address where your house is, then. Uh, email would be the and, and and all of a sudden I'm realizing oh my god I have no idea what I'm dealing with here. Then he takes a deep breath and he starts to explain accurately the dual nature of light as both a particle and a wave. He explains wave particle theory and the dual slit experience uh, experiments and the interference patterns that prove it, and goes on to like accurately quote the speed of light at uh, 187,000 miles per second uh, and uh, starts going into the many world theories. But then he's like, but what is the internet? <laughs> I mean, we all, we, all, we all got our strengths and weaknesses. I mean, like, we're going to be like, like, what is a, 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 a smell of vision or whatever the fucking thing is when we're 92? You're not like, going to know gonna what have smell no idea. is? <laughs> you don't know what smell of vision is? You want to know what, Bryce? This, I got something for you to smell, and it's my disgust. Uh, and I know how to smell, so I don't I know. Well, because you're younger than us, so you, of course you're going to know what smell -o vision is. You're going to be fucking lording smell -o vision over us while we are befuddled by it. He did, uh, he, he did a really cute bit with the world's greatest con thing. Should I, should I text that over to uh, Bryce? I don't know whether or not it's going to play any better than if we just play we, it We just phone. describe it. But yeah, so... Uh, 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 all right, Brian is backstage and he's eating with William Shatner. And then Brian starts texting me, Hey, record the show. And I'm like, Okay, I'm pretty sure that it's uh, not allowed to record the show. Brian's telling me to record the show. I'll come in and record the show. So I bring my bag in. Uh, the, 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 the whole performance is they play Rathacon. The and whole movie. The whole movie. 
and then they bring Shatner out, and it's like 75 minutes of Q&A. So I decide I've seen, you know, Wrath of Khan enough. I don't need to see it again. And so I show up late. But they have entirely abandoned the ticket counter at that point. So there's no way for me to get my ticket, and, the, and all of the entryways are closed. So I'm just banging on... The window and a security I, guy. Comes I'm really up. glad to hear all of this because, like, I did find it curious that I never gave anybody's last name. Uh, there, I, I had two comps ready, one for you, one for Andrew, and uh, I was like, should they ask what your last names are? And then I guess, I guess it never came down to anything. Well, I mean, so so I walk in uh, and the security guy's like, "What's up?" And I'm like, "I'm here for the event." And he's like, "You're late." <laughs> I'm like, "Well, I don't fucking need." To be judged by you like like, like I, I fucking i'm here for the event uh uh i'm like I, I have ticket at will call and they're like there isn't anybody at will call and i'm like i can fucking see that like i just need you to get somebody to get my ticket so i can get in so then a very very helpful guy comes up and he goes you have to be the photographer for our vips and i go yes <laughs> 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 and i walk in and i'm like i'm gonna need my ticket and he's like your your ticket and i'm like yep i have a ticket for uh from brian brushwood and i gotta go and sit in my seat he's like sit in your seat and i'm like yep i'm recording the show and he's like recording is strictly prohibited and i'm like yes brian told me to do it <laughs> and he's on the he's on stage and we're doing it for him it's not for reproduction and he's like oh geez okay well i gotta I got to run this up the flagpole. And I'm like, cool. So he does. And he runs up the flagpole. Everything is okay. He gets me my ticket. I walk in and I start recording. And I wish we had better audio with this, but there is a mad, two magical moments. The first is uh, Brian is reading the Q and A. He's like, oh, we got some uh, questions from the audience. Yeah. So uh, uh, there was a couple of preloaded ones that they asked me to make it sound like they came from the audience. And so I was like, well, screw it. Uh, I'm going to attribute these to Andrew Heaton and Justin Robert Young. So the very, the very first question I asked was, hmm, pretending to look at a card. Justin Robert Young asks, boxers or briefs? And then, yeah. So Shatner has a really funny line to it. Uh, uh, but immediately upon Brian saying Justin Robert Young asked, boxers or briefs, you can hear me on the recording that I take just going, dickhead. <laughs> What a dickhead. <laughs> but the best part was this. Shatner. William fucking Shatner. The god. The icon. Uh, looks at Brian. Because Brian is introduced as being the host of World's Greatest Con. And William Shatner says. Is that spelled K-A-H-N. And then says. <laughs> because I was wondering if it's World's Greatest Con! Yes. It was yes. fucking amazing. It was great. Of course. Subscribe to the World's Greatest Con Patreon, and we'll, we'll, I think, like, they owe it. It is owed to them first, so uh, you, we will send you the clip. I wish we had it in better, in better fidelity, but you can definitely hear it, so uh, <laughs> that is all that matters is that it counts. And in, in the three words that I was able to say to William Shatner backstage, they were all, can we use that? <laughs> <laughs> And he said, yeah, every, there were witnesses. We can use it. So it, uh, that's all that uh, 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 For like the next 10 minutes, all Justin said was like, you all heard that, right? You witness, all heard witness. it. Witness. Okay. William Shatner said we could use it. That's all that I fucking care about. <laughs> well, we asked the man personally. He said that we could use the world's greatest cod bit. We saw David Blaine's stage magic show. Yeah. So then we go to Vegas. Uh, uh, and it turns out. All of our friends are there. Yeah, Corey Coleman was there, and so we ended up hanging out. Uh, and uh, and uh, I reached out to Nate Staniforth, and I was like, "Hey, uh, what's your schedule like today? Because uh, we we have a cut of episode four of World's Greatest Con. I'd like you to hear it." And he's like, "Oh, real busy with the David Blaine show." And meanwhile, it's like as we were flying in, they have uh, Resorts World. What a terrible name for a casino. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, Resorts Brian, it's world. a world of resorts. Yes. I, 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 I grasped what they were going. Imagine for. a world. But but the, but a, instead of flora and fauna, 
<laughs> there are only resorts and more resorts. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a world of resorts. The world of resort or get resorted. Oh, no. Uh, I'm running out of resorts <laughs> in my resort system. I oh, I could get you more resorts for resorts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so as we're landing, we She's look over. She's a small town girl <laughs> with big resort streams. Uh, we're, we're landing and, and we see uh, that the entire building is a video screen and it advertises David Blaine's show. Uh, I didn't know, but David Blaine only does like two nights a month. Two nights Vegas. a month. And he has a contract for two years. That's bonkers. It's a great gig. And, and it turns out that Nate Staniforth is working that. And so, so yeah. So by the way, we're, we're going through baggage claim and we, we like totally, uh, 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 uh do ham fisted, uh, 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 prologue for our, our trip that night. Cause we walk by and like, Oh, David Blaine's performing. And then you're like, yes, Nate is working with him anyway. And then smash cut. We're there at the David Blaine show. Uh, he's playing the big room. He's playing the Katy Perry room. Uh, uh, so it's it's a it's a huge crowd that's there. Yeah, I think Do you I want think... to talk about the, the soundtrack. That, okay, that's all I want to talk about. <laughs> uh, Justin, when we went in uh, thirty minutes before showtime, yeah, how would you describe the pre-show music? It was a non-radio edit version of Drake and Twenty One Savage. I believe it. It's called Sneakin', uh, but uh, uh, festooned with the N-word <laughs> and various other if, uh, if, curse words. If there was a bedazzler that just attached N-words <laughs> to music, <laughs> somebody went nuts As with it. one might imagine in a song with Drake and 21 Savage. It's not odd for them. It's odd in the place that it was being played. So you have, again, these tickets are not cheap. I mean, we got comp because we're cool, but like... Uh, uh, <laughs> Like like those tickets in general are are fucking expensive. Like like you know you can't really get into a top line Vegas show for under a hundred dollars for sure. Like I, I I I'll take your word for let's it. Let's just say theoretically. And so there's some kids, there's some families, and meanwhile this is playing. And uh, I guess I I had gotten a drink before walking into the theater, but you had said that that was a a second of songs that had been played. Of rap songs with David Blaine's name dropped being name checked in there, yeah. and ah. so I was convinced that. They, and then, and then it, uh, the third song was "Atomic Dog" by uh, Snoop Doggy Dog, and then um, or P Funk, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. And then um, uh, I, I forget where it went from there, but <clears throat> they they just got more and more, shall we say, mainstream. Mm, yep, yep, mainstream. The music got more and more. White. White. <laughs> White people love the music. The later it got into the show, long gone Drake and 21 Savage. Hello, the doors. <laughs> Hello, oh. the Partridge family. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hello. There was a moment before the show started, I was like, oh, how could you get more white? Uh, 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 the, the Beatles? Yeah, no, no, that, that would be peak white. And then um, uh, there's an intermission. Yep. First song they play, the Beatles. Followed by, turns out you could get even more white if you play "Creep" by Radiohead. Yep. Oh, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Jeffer Hi. Jefferson Airplane. Oh yeah. 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 Any Beach Boys? No Beach Boys. Speak white. Uh, the only the only Beach Boy I saw was Danny DeVito. Oh yeah, Danny DeVito was at the show. Oh cool. What beach yeah. is he from? Uh, 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 Padre the Island. Jer the Jersey Shore. Jer Jersey Shore. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh. uh Blaine show is fucking crazy. It's David Blaine as fuck. It, it is the he's most a legit David Blaine crazy person. Yeah, because yep. like, uh, uh, it's real. <laughs> Spoiler alert for what he does. I mean, because I I would have a hard time imagining the magic method for jumping off a high place, but he does. That's his opener, and he lands on boxes. He, he's just like. A backyard wrestler. He just like <laughs> show. He's yeah. He just is like like hey, let me uh, climb to the top of this thing. But he's David Blaine, so he's charismatic, and he's like like uh, people don't want me to do this. I don't. My doctor's here. What's up to my doctor? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do it. It's oh. he's great. I mean, like he, he's one of the. He's got a unique charisma, not only for magic, which is rare because every magician kind of sounds like each other, but also. <laughs> uh, 
for Hollywood, for for show business, yeah. for famous people. Like nobody is like David Blaine. He's very, very unique. The crowd was eating out of his hands the entire time, which is amazing because he was doing barely anything. He's got like four tricks in the entire show and the rest of it is just him being David Blaine and saying like, hey man, what's up? What, what's going on? All right, cool. <laughs> well, it, uh, Weirdest it's the best. Work it's ever. the best. No, but it works so well. Oh no, he does it, that two shows a month. Yeah, well, and and he was so fully present in the moment. Like like he was there more than I was there. You know, it's like it's like he was all the way into the experience. Uh, and and he did some like just uh, cheesy, almost like dad dad joke kind of stuff and it was great i was 100 percent there for it like he 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 burns up a hundred dollar bill and then says i i have a special assistant that's gonna help out that the special assistant's gonna come out Ca and then a raven flies in with a hundred dollar oh! bill in its mouth oh shit <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And by the way, by the way, Bryce you had <laughs> Bryce, you had the exact same reaction that Danny DeVito had when that raven flew out. Because it was during the Danny DeVito bit. It was amazing. And and afterwards, uh No, I, no, Danny DeVito literally just goes, oh shit. <laughs> 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 it was it was amazing, uh, uh, it, uh, especially because like um, uh, later on, Nate was like, uh, Brian, uh, did the narrative structure seem odd when a raven flew in <laughs> with a hundred dollar bill in his mouth? I'm like, yeah, it's a David Blaine show. <laughs> what, what, yeah. What, yeah. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was on brand. It was fucking <laughs> amazing. No, if, if, if you if you can uh, uh, go catch David Blaine and I would say. Catch David Blaine Early. soon. Yes, but but before they start, uh, before somebody from insurance gets gets a hold of the Says show. Says you can't do half the shit that you're doing in that show because yeah. he's doing shit in that show that he should not. There's no fucking reason when, like, he could literally just sit down and do a Q&A and people would be happy with, with the money spent. If he did a Q&A and the most basic fucking magic tricks you could ever think of, nobody in that audience would have left upset. He is... Uh, and, and I only euphemistically use killing himself. Uh, uh, I hesitate to use it because he's fucking Literally. getting close. Yeah. Like he is putting himself in unnecessary danger. So go see it when you can. But at some point, <laughs> somebody, somebody in, in, in the bean counting department is going to be, we don't want to count the David blade is dead in our <laughs> hotel bean. So no, you're not allowed to do that anymore. No, it was great though. Uh, uh, and then we hung out with, uh, uh, Jacob from ice cream social. And then, uh, then we went home. We did it. Got him. We won some money. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, yes. In so far as uh, I got back to slightly above zero, you had you had a slaughter of the pockets situation, which we were on cloud nine Saturday because we kind of like passed the sort of like terminal velocity point on world's on the newest season of World's Greatest Come. We were there to record shit for that. It went fucking fantastic for a million reasons that I'm sure we can talk about at a later date. Everything was fucking great. So Brian and I are are flying. Like we are having the best time. We're gambling. Uh uh I'm winning. Brian is just getting fucking decimated. Uh, just absolutely destroyed. We're getting destroyed at the Orleans. We're going to the Circa downtown. Brian's getting destroyed. Just <laughs> absolutely nothing but carnage. Yeah, and then uh <laughs> there was kind of this like last ditch like I don't know. I, I threw 100 bucks in. I'm like just gonna let it ride three times in a row, and of course there was some opportunity to double down and some opportunity to do the easy bus side bed or whatever. But whatever. Suddenly I had a thousand dollars. I'm like, I did very well. And then today I looked at uh, the ATM receipts and I'm like, I did fine. <laughs> <laughs> we battled back. <laughs> we battled back. It worked. It worked out just fine. Did you uh, get your sandwich? Uh, oh yeah, you know I did. Uh, I think twice. Yeah, I got a uh, at the same the, place. The suburbs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They. I think they're back. I don't know if they're back to twenty four hours, but I think that they're back to the. They were there the early. Early. Yeah. yeah. Thank because, God. Uh, because they were having like a uh, a karate tournament there. 
or something. Well, yeah. No. Can we talk about my alchemy? Oh. <laughs> uh, the Nobel Award for transforming non-alcoholic beers into alcoholic beers goes to Sir Justin Robert Young. Well, here's the deal. So, Brian, you're a marketing genius. Yeah. I want to I wanna pitch this idea. Maybe not now, right? The world's not ready for it. But at a certain point, weed is going to be legal everywhere, and it's going to be highly commercialized. We are, we are in our lifetime going to see a Super Bowl with weed commercials in it. Right. Right? But when that happens, I just want to pitch to any budding weed entrepreneurs out there that I want to be a spokesman for edibles. Yeah. And here's what I want to do. I have this idea that, and I figured this out. I'm we, not just, I'm not we, just, I'm not just a fucking brilliant pioneer. I'm also uh, a, a client. A, 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 yeah. I'm a client. <laughs> I'm a bold traveler. I, I have my machete. I'm, I'm doing frontline research on this. Is, shit. Is, is this all like in the vein of the world's most interesting man? Campaign? Somewhat. Yeah. Cause it's a suave thing. Like I'll, I'll have like a low shirt, like chest hair, maybe some low chest hair. Yeah, well, the shirt's low. <laughs> low the chest C. Hairs, it's a medical condition called low C. Chester's around there. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, meat. nestling, like a, a, a medallion of some kind in the middle. Uh, uh, and then I'm, I'm talking to uh, some other cool-looking people, and uh, uh, it's just maybe a narrator's over top, like, uh, uh, did you know that edibles are great? <laughs> and, uh, you, can get, you can get high on an edible, and it's a fun time for everybody. Uh, uh, now I know what you're thinking. I like to get drunk. Well, listen to this guy. Uh, and so I'm talking to somebody else, uh, and I have a non-alcoholic beer, and it just says non-alcoholic beer on it, right? Yeah. Because it has to be visually clear. And I turn around to the camera, and I go, when you're this high, it's beer. <laughs> 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 Wait, so for the next day <laughs> Justin would hold up whatever O'Doul's he was uh, uh, Heineken 00 and, be, and just go it's beer <laughs> and uh, that was the moment just before we walked out on stage Justin goes it's not beer not beer <laughs> not high enough <laughs> nope not high enough for it no longer beer you had to work the camera uh, but yeah no, we had a uh, uh, we had we had a, we, had, we had a delayed flight, so I had a few beers before the flight. <laughs> uh, when do you think? And I'm not going to put you on the spot to answer any specifics right now. Yeah. But when do you think we can start whispering what season three is about? Because when... because, because we got over like yeah. I mean, we we rounded the corner. Yeah. Uh, when we know when it comes out. Okay. Because that's the only thing is I don't want people to get too excited and then it's going to be, you know, too far from now until when, yeah. when it like my, 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 my carny promoter brain, it's like, you know, the, the ideal is like a week out, you know, you, you tell people they get really excited so they can subscribe and download and everything. Although I guess this is season three, so we could probably do it maybe a little bit earlier because people can still subscribe to the show. Right. Get caught up on the back catalog. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe soon. Maybe. Maybe soon. Maybe I'll soon. I'll tell you what. If enough people give us money at patreon.com slash great night, mm. then maybe you can affect- Actually, here, I have, I, have, I have a present for you. Motherfucker. So, okay. Uh, in the pre-pro meeting, yeah. it was like, normally we have all of our segments or whatever. Yeah. And uh, you were like, uh, yeah, whatever, man. We're just going to have a good time tonight. And I was like- that's very weird for Justin to say. And about uh, about like 30 minutes before, I was like, oh, I, would, I, I would bet he might have a gift. Well, I don't have a real gift. Oh, okay. No. I was just... You know, I don't know what's funny. I did think about three distinct different gifts. <laughs> Here are the three gifts that I thought about bringing. Okay. But you didn't. But I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the top three gifts that the Justin first, Young did not bring. Coming number in three. at number three. three. The first was some kind of like a, a sweet 
thing like cupcakes or 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 something like that. Food. So food, right? But then I was like, ah, you want to know what Brian is trying to to diet and like like that would be a nice gesture, but it would it would be I could see a world in which I brought cupcakes. You were like, great. And like you take a, a perfunctory bite out right. of one. Right. And then there's just five cupcakes that sit around every time that I show up. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> let's let's avoid that. Gift number two. Number two. two number two. two. Uh, the place that we always go to eat, you get one salad. Yep. And I was going to go there, <laughs> get the salad, and then put candles in the salad. That would have been great. That would have been great. That would have been good, but it also involved me going too far, and I was too late, so I couldn't do that. Number three. Number three. Three. Pack of Marlboro Reds. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought it'd be funny. Just saying, like, <laughs> actually, <laughs> just saying, like, hey, happy birthday and throwing hard you a pack, pack of Marlboro Reds would have been funny. Would it be a hard pack? Uh, I didn't do any of it, <laughs> uh, but I do have a gift that probably means more to you than a salad, six cupcakes, or a pack of Reds. You can give whatever hint you want for the new season. Oh. World's greatest con, right now, right now. Wow, uh, this this the is gates are open. I will not. I, I will not be upset about anything that is said. We are close enough. You do not have to have any kind of any kind of a uh, uh, guilt. You can you can sell it however you want. You can sell it explicitly. You can literally tell the premise if you want. I'm going to trust your marketer brain to sell this. Free of any kind of uh, limitation. I suspect people can probably figure out the story, but the the clues they've already gotten are they know that we've gone to Vegas to yep. record interviews. Uh, I think we, 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 we have said on the Patreon that it takes place in the late seventies and early eighties, so we have a time frame. Yep. Um, here's the secret: is there is a narrative that has stood ironclad for 40 years and nobody has corrected the narrative and with first person sources who are there for a multi-year con we are going to break actual news would that, would that be fair to say it's your okay. it's your okay. it's your it's your cell uh, you 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 tell me when you're done no nobody Nobody has ever told this story. Nobody has broken the story the way we are about to break it. It is very, very difficult for me to keep my mouth shut, and I feel like I should shut my mouth again. No, no, it's you. You tell me. You tell me. Project what you're... Alpha. It's Project Alpha. We're doing Project Alpha. <laughs> hey! We're fucking giving the real boots on the ground account of Project Alpha <laughs> in a way that nobody's ever done before. We're saying shit that ain't nobody ever said ever. It's fucking amazing. Yay! It's the best Yay! fucking thing ever. It's fucking huge. That was a good. That was a good birthday. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you just ejaculated news Thank all over God. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Patreon.com slash great night. Again, patreon.com slash great night. Uh, uh, head on over there right now. Support this show. And uh, uh, yeah, no, it, it's uh, it's great. It's a great place to be. It's a great uh, uh, bonus content that you get each and every Thursday. Uh, we are uh, we are rocking and rolling. I, I, I will say that uh, it's been really neat because both of us have had, I think, creeping anxiety as we reached the end point because... We, there, there, there's a placeholder moment where we knew that what we had to do is have our official take and neither of us wanted to do that. And over this weekend, we got past it and we feel really, really good about it. Yeah. All, all, all four of the scripted episodes are, are effectively done. We got to polish them up. Uh, uh, there's an epilogue episode where we talk to all the principals and that went fucking great. So season's great. It's awesome. Uh, if, if you know what that means, those two words that Brian said, I've then, already forgotten them. Then that's then that's amazing. If you have no idea what those two words are, you can Google them if you want. Uh, but uh, uh, know that 
that story has never been told like we are about to tell it. Yeah. Uh, hey, In fact, guys. that's part of the fucking point of the show. Yeah, yeah that's the yeah. whole conceit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Bricycle, do we have a game? I have to rewrite my project beta game now. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody. Uh, yeah, I got, I got, a, I got a thing. So everyone canceled me last week because I was using Chat GPT to write some of these quizzes recently. So Ooh. I decided to go the opposite way and I would just steal a game from an old man on the internet. Oh, that's, so. good. Good. that's good. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Now these we're old men have had it too good for too long, Bryce. Hey. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Brett, you should play with us today. I should? Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, thank you. Ooh. It's Brian's birthday. <laughs> I should go ahead and... Ghost of the... Brian Future? Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm, I'm not comfortable with any of this. Go ahead. <laughs> I would like to play with you now. Oh, oh, no. Okay. No. So, no, we're going to go back to the present. All right. Uh, so this is a thing that uh, uh, someone on TikTok user ask number one yourself uh posts these little videos about ask yourself ask yourself is a fun relatable uh real life question and you can answer it for yourself so we'll we'll all uh, take his questions and answer them okay it's right. easy enough right yeah okay uh well we'll start with this one here oh no oh no <laughs> sorry i sorry the old man was very quiet <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> okay, there we go. I turned I turned it off so that I wouldn't have this problem. All right. Hi, everybody. Ask yourself is a fun, relatable, real life question you can answer for yourself. Ask yourself, what is your New Year's resolution? Have a great day. <laughs> Bryce, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> What's happening here? What's going on? What's what's what is happening? I don't know what's then old man showed up. He 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 bracketed his bit with the premise of the bit. Yeah. And then the bit wasn't even interesting. He just asked a very generic question. Well, ask yourself is a fun, relatable real life question that oh you can answer God. for yourself. I uh, mean, I don't know. I don't wanna like I, I had to make fun of this old man. No. No, wait, 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 wait. Was was the bell in the background of that video? We were talking about the bell earlier in the pre-show. <laughs> oh, laying there. No, he yeah, he plays like a chime. Oh, hi everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, he plays like a chime because he's also out like in in a in a in a water setting. So, <laughs> yeah, the classic Not water setting. Well, uh, what's your New Year's resolution, guys? Uh, Let's go around the horn. Wait, wait, I, I believe we talked about this earlier, which is to get world's greatest con out Q one ish. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which now we're 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 on we're on track to do. That is the only, the only reason why it would the, not be. Uh, uh, up in March. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, there's there's a, a I don't know. I want to make good shit. I want to make shit that everybody is like, this is really really good. This is among the best podcasts that came out in the year. Are the things that I made feel like that's that's uh, uh, in life. I I, okay. I feel like there are like levels you can like level up. And you can like like be at a point where you're ready to take on shit. And I feel like the production that we do on World's Greatest Con and that has been done on some of the other shows that I do, I kind of feel like they they are are alongside anything else that comes out. And and I would like the world to fucking tell me that. So <laughs> super easy, Bryce. All, All right. we're looking to do is the best shit we've ever done in yeah. our entire careers. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That seems easy enough. Yep. Let's keep doing it. Yeah. Got it. Brett, do you have a, a New Year's resolution? I, I have three. You got three? Okay, three. hit him with I this. I have three things. Hit us with them. One is, uh, some of sounds a little bit uh, general, mm -hmm. but is get back on track. What? That is uh, like, uh, like career-wise, okay. all the things. Wait, you are right now, you are currently off the track. I am off the track right now. How far how off the far, track? Yeah, how far off the track? Well, there's no track right now, so I have to get back on the track. So you need to identify a track. Yes. So you, would you consider yourself like an anthropomorphic train that can like kind of like tiptoe so you can be far away from a track but you can kind of walk like a that, cartoon that creepy that creepy uh 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 what's the the one with sir topham hat what is thomas the yeah. tank engine thomas the, the only tank. famous train with with the with the weird feet instead of of uh, wheels that is what i am right now yeah i would like to go ahead and amputate those weird feet 
Put as wheel, soon as put, you can get onto a track. As soon as I find yeah. the track, because you don't want wheels before the track. No, because then you're just in. The, it, just then you're, yeah, sitting you're, there. You're, you're so, dead. Effectively. So there's that. That's one. Okay. Two is be more present for everybody. Oh. I want to be present. Okay. So where uh, have, so, have you not been present? No. Have you been checked out? A little bit. Yeah. Oh. A little bit. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And so so you're a train that tiptoes and doesn't pay attention. Dead shit. Well, let me let shit. me ask you this because I would not consider you to be somebody that is withdrawn. No. And and that's what I would assume when somebody says checked out. But what do you mean by checked out? What what is checked out for Brett? I mean, for me, it's kind of uh, I've I've been less in the moment and more. Somewhere else. You're worried about other shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Probably about the track. Yep. Are you aware that these two resolutions are opposites and they're at war with each other? Yes. And so that is the weird part. And three is really get serious about uh, uh, hitting that hot Santa look by by 60. So I have to. Oh, uh, yeah. Got to get going for so you know, not to actually years. have yeah. it, but to get serious about having it. Well, because I want to be hot Santa by the time I hit 60. Mm. And that's coming up. Yeah. So I need to start now. He's getting, getting ready now. Yeah. Right. He's got a condition. He needs to do Santa yep. conditioning. Yep. I yeah. mean, uh, uh, Santa is a very specific time of year. Like like a hot Santa what? No, no, no. But he can be say, like Christmas in July, Santa. And he has like a like a Hawaiian shirt, but he looks like a snack. I think Bryce knows like, what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. The it, hot Santa. There you go. That 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 third picture right there. Yeah, I mean we've we've certainly talked about him many yeah. times. You sure it's not that picture. second one? No, 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 not any. There we go. That's just, what I'm talking. You just about. want to Getting... look good with white hair. Yeah. Wait, are you gonna, gonna, gonna go happen. full beard? I'm gonna probably get more beardy. You're gonna get more wow. beard. Yeah. You're gonna have to give up the goatee. And unless Ek says absolutely, but she likes me with. I feel like then the this beard. year should be getting the approval. Get yeah. all your sign offs this year, right. mm -hmm. and that's, that's exactly part right. of getting ready. And that's a thing that can be checked off. So that's the other two are kind of a little amorphous, except finding the track. Yeah. But uh, but the the getting sign off mm -hmm. that is gonna. What do you need? What do you need to get to? Uh, hot Santa. How do you, how would you define Hot Santa aside from the beard? I think I need to lose a little bit of weight. What are we talking? Uh, LB wise, what are we what are I'm, we talking? I'm thinking 30, 35 pounds. Okay. Uh, uh, so that that is that is a lifestyle change, some right? Of that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, are you uh, gonna adopt a bunch of elves? Oh, yeah. I've already done that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, wow, <laughs> that was confident. I mean, you're you're one of them. So you're an elf. You're shorter than me, so thank to me, you. thank you. Therefore, yeah. Do yeah. we live at your house? Oh, by now? the way, talk about short. Danny DeVito is very short. Danny DeVito is fucking small. Yeah. <laughs> Danny DeVito is bowling ball small. Yeah. Like he is, uh, and it, it makes sense because you got to figure that like Charlie Day isn't a fucking in the NBA, no. right? And he <laughs> and he comes up to his belly button, but when you see him. Like, like he was like, he, like, 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 like his eyeball was at David Blaine's pocket. There like, <laughs> you do you kind of want to hug him? You kind of want to hug him, don't you? I want. There's no facet of my life that would be worse for having Danny DeVito in it. Yeah, like as a professional mentor, Absolutely. as a guy to drink with. As a guy to look at and say, holy shit, he's small. Yeah. Like, there's as, nothing bad about right. Danny DeVito. As a guy to hang with while you're pooping. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Hey, you shitting. <laughs> yeah, I am. That's Danny what he'd DeVito. say. <laughs> I would 24 7 want him to tell the story about him coming out of that couch. Forever? Being, uh, being oiled up and coming out of that couch. Yeah. Yeah. There, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, what do you helped. what what do you think you're gonna learn from him telling you that story? Just pure entertainment to me. Okay. It, I'm sure he would find a new way of telling that story each time, and I would love every single. <laughs> oh shit! A we got a Photoshop in the chat. <laughs> oh shit! A Raven. That's amazing. Yeah, very nice. Danny DeVito on Price's head. Very Danny nice. DeVito should not have my hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't have. It's not. <laughs> Uh, I, I, it's funny you mentioned that couch thing when they christened FXX the new thing and they were uh, putting Always Sunny on there as the reason why everybody had to carry that channel. I forget what the channel was before, 
but I think it was some kind of motorsports or racing thing. And uh, uh, I remember watching this clip on Deadspin, but they had this very kind of like serious sort of goodbye to that channel. And it was like people that were on there. It's like, ladies and gentlemen, for over 10 years, we've brought you the best content that we possibly could from four continents, hundreds of people that have dedicated their professional lives to bringing you the best that we possibly could. And it is with our sincere gratitude that we sign off for the final time. And they slow fade down. And the next thing you see to Chris and FXX is sweaty, oily Danny DeVito. Oh, that's amazing. Ripping through the couch. Oh, so just hot. undercutting so all of the emotion yes. that came from the thing before. Oh. But it was amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Uh, all right, Bryce, who won? Oh, we all won. No, okay. I mean, so did you all no, answer? No did you, points. Did you all answer honestly? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay. There you won. Uh, uh, can we get a chat back here? Yeah. Uh, and everyone loses a point because no one asked me what my resolution is. All Fuck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan. Hi, everybody. Hi. Ask yourself as a fun, relatable, oh, real life question you can answer for yourself. Ask yourself. Do you have a pet? <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go around the horn. Do you have a pet? Uh, I, uh, this is a are we fun are game. we are we fighting, Bryce? <laughs> <laughs> are we in a fight? Like, I, like is this is this because I shit on the other game? Uh, I don't know what you're talking yourself about. Yourself is a fun game. <laughs> Is it? Uh, Listen, I just thought we might want a fun, relatable, real life question that you can answer for yourself. <laughs> this isn't even a hypothetical. This is a binary. It's not fun. It's inventory. Uh, yeah, you know. Ask what? yourself. Ask yourself is a fun and relatable game. Uh, are you wearing shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that was an easy uh, yeah. one. Okay, sure. Uh, you know what, Bryce? Uh, yeah. uh, I, I've got a pet. I've got a, I got a, a, a Weimar on her and oh, an yeah. uh, uh, Australian Shepherd. How about you, Bryce? Uh, my my parents have a an English Springer, a uh, Springer Spaniel mm. back yeah, at home. Yeah, that's a so no. The answer no. no. No, I don't. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Brett, do you have any pets? I have many pets. Oh, yeah? What do you got? Yeah, I've got, uh, you guys got a bunch Brian of pets, the right? Elf. Typo. My, yeah, I have Brian <laughs> the Elf. I have uh, uh, Typo the dog, uh, big, big 100 pound dog. We've got uh, Floof, who's a, a, a soft white kitty. And we have uh, Pixel, who is a gray kitty that's a little bit of an asshole and disappears often. Mm. And then we have Betty and Bambalam, who are in the front yard. What are, who are uh, black yeah. kitties? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Justin, would you like to play the game? Yeah, I have three <laughs> birds. Yeah. I have three cockatiels. Next. Do you like okay. them? Yeah, I love them. I think that they're great. <laughs> I it? love my birds. They have big personalities. I talk to them. I do I do a little dance with 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 okay. doctor. I go over to the doctor and I say dance and and he that looks at me cuz he didn't speak fucking English and then I go like dance, dance, mm -hmm. dance and then he starts dancing. It's adorable. It's great. The other two are gay together, and uh, oh. it's fun. It's diversity. <laughs> well, Hooray. Not, not when you say that. <laughs> it's, does, yeah. does he still get points for being angry about this? <laughs> Why am I not angry? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I mean, uh, 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 that was a fun question. Bryce, do you have another? Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> let's, let's do another one here. Hi, everybody. Hi. Ask yourself as a fun, relatable, real-life question. You can answer for yourself. Okay. Ask yourself, have you ever hit the funny bone in your elbow? <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> Where is this guy? Uh, he's out in the world, man. Uh, I love him so much. <laughs> Where is this man? I hope boat. he's on a barge he's on to, a boat. to hell. I hope, I, hope, I, hope he's, I hope he's on the river sticks. No. With, 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 with that, that, that oarsman uh, 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 rowing. Charon. Yeah. Charon. Yeah. <sighs> hey, no, uh, but, but, but that is a good question. Have, have you ever hit yourself you. with other Fuck tone? you. Fuck you. It's in your elbow. Fuck you. When was the last time? Fuck this man. Do you remember Fuck the last... water. Yeah. Fuck TikTok. <laughs> 
Fuck everything that made this possible. Hey, Mike. So have you ever have you ever hit the funny bone that's in your elbow? Come up here because nobody Mike. can yeah. hear you. Yeah. 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 Up, babe. Everybody, Mike Michael TV. Television. Mike TV. Go on that side. Go on that side. Grab a mic. Grab a mic. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's I've I've hit that I've hit that a couple times and it and it hurts a lot like it 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 it's not very funny it's it, I don't know why they call it a funny bone because it's not very funny it, it hurts yeah it makes me cry a bit what is the funny bone uh, you know the thing that you hit like, right there you, you know when you hit it it feels like a yeah, electric shark and it, and it radiates up. pain yep yep that's it yeah yeah funny yeah, I've, I've hilarious bone. more more like funny strange not funny haha oh. But was it named for somebody? Was it named for like Thomas Funny or something like that? Oh, I think it just so. Feels funny. That's when you right. Hit it. Good old Thomas Funny. Thomas Funny. <laughs> yeah. was it's so crazy Christ, how many up, things look he's up coined. The funny bone. Oh, it's there. You know, it's it's so crazy how many things he's coined. Like like people are like you know you know what's really funny is this and they're like that's we could attribute that to Thomas Funny. That's <laughs> so the. The, I swear to God, when Tom is funny, he's right. You are all gonna eat shit. You are all gonna eat shit forever. I'm gonna bury you. I'm gonna bury you, and your tombstone will read "Thomas Funny Doubters." Here lie the haters of Tommy Fun. Tommy Fun. Tommy Fun. This is commonly oh. referred to as bumping one's funny bone. Mm -hmm. The name is thought to be a pun based on the sound resemblance between the name of the bone of the upper arm, the humerus, and the word humerus. Uh, oh, uh, that's awesome. That's dumb as shit. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. He's turned. <laughs> yeah. Price, next, next God, question. Oh, yeah, next question. Here we go. You know, the thing is, like, I, I, I forget. Ask yourself. No, well, whatever. Real life question you can answer for yourself. Okay. Ask yourself. Do you believe you could survive on a deserted island? <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Don't you love this guy? Isn't this the best guy in the world? <laughs> Isn't this just the greatest? Don't you want him to be your peepaw? Have a great day. I love him. <laughs> what I love is in my in my journeys, uh it seems obvious that they have filmed this on different days every day. <laughs> <laughs> so they they are shooting this like like every day is like, well, I guess I need to go and shoot the TikTok. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Have a great day. I, I think so. Yeah. Do you so, think it, do you think it's his wife who's who's recording oh, it? No, it's his daughter. Do you do you daughter? Guys... Yeah, it's the daughter. Oh, but the daughter died long ago. <laughs> and now he's just no. trying. Oh, to have a it's a secret. Like, yeah, that was the the last thing that he sold her was ask yourself. Are you, do you dying? Do you, do you think <laughs> do you think that this might be like a new meta Jack Handy? Like this might be yes. they, they might this Absolutely. might be Jack Handy. I, 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 to, 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 to be like honest, better, more, if, more if, powerful. If it is, I'll be disappointed because I want to believe in something so pure and joyful <laughs> yeah. as this guy yeah, oh, yeah, unironically yeah. doing. By the way, what, uh, what was this question? Could you survive on a desert island? Bryce! <laughs> yeah. Could you survive on a desert island? Uh maybe only for a I would only say maybe a day or two. I'm not good at hunting, I think. I don't think I'd be a good hunter. Maybe foraging. Well, but also, if it's a hunter. desert island, isn't there nothing to hunt? I think it's deserted island, not desert desert island. I think it's he a deserted that. island. No, he said, he said All deserted. All right, there's, there's a dispute. Play yeah. it again. Deserted. <laughs> deserted. Deserted is very, like, so there's no Hi, one there. Everybody. Ask yourself is a fun, relatable, real life question you can Thank answer you. for yourself. Also, like that that Ask, that's a nonsense sentence. Do you believe you could survive on a deserted island? Deserted. Deserted, very Have yeah. A great day. Which is different than a desert island. I, I Well it really depends on yeah. how it was deserted. If, if everybody left Hawaii and you were the well, only person the, there, no, no, I, like, I think I think I think problem. I think that the subtitle got it wrong. I think it's deserted in the sense that there's like Oreos yeah. and there's yeah yeah it's, it's just there's lots of desserts. <laughs> it's yeah. it's so yes, you can't survive for a little while. It's just your cholesterol is going to go through yeah. the roof. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to die of a. Of uh, a heart I, I, I think yeah. we all can agree that we could last a, a, a few hours. A few hours. I said two days. So well. All right. Who could last the longest? Who could last deserted? Why? Why you? Because I'm tougher. <laughs> you made it yeah. tougher stuff. Yep. You're 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 double double tough. That's right. I'm <laughs> hot, double tough. hot double tough I'm, Santa. Right. I'm not even worried about like the lack of food or water. I'm just it seems boring. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, but be. you'd be survived. That'd be interesting. 
Am I going to die is an interesting way to focus your attention. Yeah. Some of you aren't even going to die, so that's also possible. Yeah. There's well, that. I mean, yeah, if there's I no did, one. I, if there's I, I no one. I deny the concept of death, so. If there's no one's energy <laughs> or face. blood to suck, yeah, then, yeah, ultimately everybody <laughs> dies, right. you know. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Bryce, do we have another question? <laughs> yeah, here's another one from our friend. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Ask yourself is a fun, relatable, real-life question <laughs> yep. you can answer for yourself. Ask yourself, is buying a January birthday gift the most difficult one? Have a great day. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of makes you think, I am old. No. <laughs> you want to know what? <laughs> I've turned around on him. Now I love him. <laughs> now I love him. It's great. Now I love him. Brian, do you find it's harder to receive gifts having a January birthday? Uh, 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 well, no, because uh, what I do is I forward my wife an article about what jacket is Joel wearing in the premiere of The Last of Us. And then I just let her... You know, figure out that I want that jacket. <laughs> and then she tells me, hey, I bought you that jacket. I'm like, cool. I'll get it sometime <laughs> right. next <What>? week. <laughs> I mean, I, I found it hard. I thought of three gifts and I didn't bring any of them. Didn't do one yeah. of them. Uh, you, you nailed the gift. Like that, that was that was a that was a gift for that was, everyone. That really was. I yeah. wish I could that remember was, anything yeah. I said just then. Um better than a pack of reds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Hard pack. Ah, uh, Bryce. Well, is we, it hard for to get a January? Because I guess the idea is that you're uh, you're, you're you're buying it after the the holiday season, right? Yeah, so you've right. already thought about what you wanted to get them for that. Yeah, I feel like that would be. It's I I feel like that would be the kind of thing that I might lump into Christmas gift. You know, my like my mother has a December birthday, so I kind of just lump her Christmas <laughs> gifts and her birthday gifts together. Yeah, but um. <clears throat> Yeah, how does that work? Wait, wait, do you, hold do you what spend a little there? bit wait, more? Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, <laughs> oh, no. I, I feel like we just stepped here. in what some. Was, uh, what, was, what was that? Herm? What was that? The herm? I don't know. Some people don't, Some people might think, might look down on the idea of getting bulk gifts. Or but gifts do you spend that more? You, wait, so you are, so you are worried. Oh, I'm, I'm, no, it's not. I, no, I. You're, you're, you're worried that you're going to, to get shit because you only buy your mother one gift because her birthday is too close to Christmas. Uh, I definitely get her one more Christmas gift than do my you, father. Do you feel cheap? Do you feel like a bad son for doing that? Uh, yeah, because I, I feel like, I don't know, I wish I could afford to get them more gifts. Like mm. Oh, so you, it's a judgment on you. Because, because yeah, because yeah, you, you're gift buying... Right. Money is, is spread across everybody, so you can't really give her the the perfect yeah, gifts. They, yeah, they don't yeah, know what's in my wallet. So they do you just, ever yeah, do you ever sense, like yeah. like when you're being a skin flint and only buying your mom one <laughs> gift? Like, do you ever think like like oh boy, Bryce, one of these days you're gonna do it. You're gonna buy your mom two gifts. I have forgotten her birthday multiple times. Oh, so oh that's gonna... what I can't make fun of you on. I forgot my birth my yeah. mom's birthday. Fucking three years in a row. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh. I am the worst fucking person on the planet. It's awful. It's the worst feeling. And you want to know what? I blame my brother each time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is your job to remind me. Does he, you does have he, failed. Does he accept that? Is he, he's like, he's like, I'm sorry, I man. I mean, he got yelled at. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, like it's his job to accept it or not. It's my job to yell at him. <laughs> right, uh, you want another question? Yep. Yes. Hi, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Ask yourself is a fun, relatable, real-life question you can answer for yourself. All right. Ask yourself, what would you do for one second of fame? Have a great day. <laughs> what? One second? I feel like he's about to ask for a BJ. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where you want it. One, one Wait, second. Where would fame? he? Was that, was that the... What, uh, one second of fame. And one second of fame. So it's like you splice your face on the on the Super Bowl. You're like, hey, it's my face for one second. You're like, all right, that was me. Well, what would your you name? do to get and that second? Well, and, and plus also, like, wouldn't the, the fame stick around if it was any good and people yeah. would be talking about you for no, weeks yeah, to come? Apparently, I mean, apparently not. I can't stop thinking second. about what you said before where he's going to ask for a BJ. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, like, 
Like, like he's just trying to I'm fuck. And he's priest. like, he's like, uh, uh, <laughs> fucking me is a fun, relatable activity <laughs> that you can do yourself. <laughs> Ask yourself, would you like to suck my dick? <laughs> Have, Have, a Have a great day. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great day. Uh, Bryce, would you like to be famous for one second? What, no, what would you do what would for I, it? Oh, uh, what would I do? What would you yeah, do? Yeah, to get one second. I mean, I already tape. embarrassed myself online all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, right? Right. Do you feel that between all the time that, that you've spent on the internet, that it has accumulated to a collective one second of fame? Or have you already had a one second of fame? Mm. Maybe. Are, are I mean, your best seconds behind you? Oh, don't ask. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> that's not a fun, relatable question. Yeah. And I can't <laughs> and, and what, does, what does one second of fame really like? Like, is is it a million people of fame? Is it, is yeah, it fifteen million people of fame? Yeah, is you know what? Like I, I've got concerns about Earth? the way the whole framework is yeah. set up. Yeah, we should talk to that guy. We should call him up and find out. We should and totally we'll call him up. Hey there, is oh, there no. is there a way we can get his number right now? Can we call him up and ask him? Hey, man. Yeah, let's look up his number. Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, while I do that, why don't you ask yourself this? Hi, everybody. Hey, ask yourself is a fun, relatable, real life question you can answer for yourself. Ask yourself, do you have a balanced life? <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> what, 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 what is How even? many shirts is he wearing? <laughs> it's 13. Got a bunch of them. <laughs> Do you I, have a balance? I feel like it's a minimum of three. Did, he's probably because yeah, yeah, he's an old yeah. dude. He has no, he probably has an undershirt. Well, he does see, have an undershirt. He does it. Yeah, he does have an undershirt line now. Yep. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I feel like you're dodging the question, Justin. Are, are you living a balanced life? Fuck no. <laughs> yeah. No, I fucking have dedicated my life to making content for fucking people on the internet. Like, would, like, would like you serving, live a, live serving a the life? gaping maw of 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 of, of the, the the content hole. I, all I do is just look into the sarlacc of of the world's <laughs> expectations, both those that are actually there, those are the tendrils, and then the void below, which is the concept that everybody on the planet could be entertained by the thing that I am making right now. I just stare into it and then throw chunks of my fucking skin into it and i've been doing that since i was fucking 18 years old have a great day <laughs> <laughs> i think i think justin gets the point for this one yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, you guys want God. one last one to go out on? Yeah, please. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, everybody. Hey. Ask yourself is a fun, relatable, real life question you can answer for yourself. Ask yourself, do you believe that you will win? Have a great day. <laughs> All right, we'll go around the horn. Do you believe you're going to win? Uh, Brett. Yeah. Mm. Do you believe that you will win? Sure. That doesn't sound fucking I sure. Don't have to be. Wow. I can believe I'm gonna win and be okay yeah. with it. No, I. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna. I. I. You okay. Know what? The the you know what? the more you try to project project confidence, the less, the less I believe yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah, being here doing this with all of you, I feel like I've already. Oh, it. there yeah, it is. Yeah, right. That that's yeah. a fun, relatable yeah. answer. True. That's that's, that's true. exactly right. All right, Justin, do you believe you will win? Uh, yeah, no, I'm never, I'm never gonna die, and I'm 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 gonna win, and is, everyone's gonna have to fucking eat it. Is that everyone's gonna have to fucking exactly eat it. Right. That's, that that's is, gonna be the best exactly part. Yeah, right. no, everyone. Bryce, I'm gonna Bryce what about you? Uh, do, do you believe you're gonna win? God damn. Uh, yeah, I I don't worry about losing. <laughs> there you go. I mm -hmm. I suppose those are mathematically equivalent. Yep. Well, that's one and a half gifts for your mom. I think I think well, I think I, it's Mike, Mike, Mike. Do you believe you? Will I win? think it's important to win sixteen times a day. If you don't win sixteen times a day, wow. your life is a little bit useless, you know. And so occasionally, occasionally. So where are you at yeah. right now today? Twenty four. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. No. Yeah. I you always. I always like to. The yeah. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. That. That was. That was. Yeah. That was. Yeah. Yeah. Brian? That, that was. That was Isabella's challenge. <laughs> she hasn't won today. <laughs> uh, I, 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 <laughs> It, it, to get a little bit philosophical, that is the name of the game is to acknowledge when you have one. And, uh, mm. and I, I certainly am feeling it today. Mm. Happy, oh, birthday, yeah, man. Happy yeah. birthday. Hey, 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 happy birthday. I got to, I got to tell Project Alpha. That's right. <laughs> That's right.
Uh, Brett, did we ask you? Uh, yeah, I okay. said yes. Everybody? Yeah. Do we have one more? No, nope, that was the last one. <clears throat> uh, you know you what? believe you went. Explain this. Uh, <clears throat> ask yourself as a relatable game. Justin Robert Young, why do you hate yourself? <laughs> have a great day. Have a great day. <laughs> have a great day. Uh, I don't know. Probably my upbringing. <laughs> uh, uh, ancestral trauma. I don't know. Somewhere around there. You know, the curse of the creative and all that. And yeah. No, yeah. that tracks. Uh, anyway, thank you for the game. Ask have yourself a nice day. on TikTok. I hope you have a nice day. Uh, if you've got an idea for a game or a bit or whatever this has been, uh, email <laughs> us greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. You, you turned it around for us. It, it really did. It, 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 it came home. I swear me. to God, tune in next week when the game is going to be just Bryce screaming into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little teaser, a little trailer. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a, that was a fun and relatable game that oh you can answer God. for yourself. Oh, so Fuck relatable. me. In my head, this would be like a compliment bomb. Like we would love it, and we'd be into the guy, and it would be a whole thing. We oh, oh, love, oh, we oh, are. No, 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 yeah. No. no. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. We give, definitely give, need give, to meet this guy, guy. Give the guy's account so we can say nice things. Yeah. We uh, definitely need to meet this guy. Ask the number one yourself on uh, TikTok, and I think he's on Twitter and a few other places. But uh, check out. Only nice things and no Only. clips of me talking about him. Yeah, none of them <laughs> yeah, from yeah. tonight's Please show. Please don't. Please don't. I like he's a very sweet old man, and this is mostly just bits. Mostly. Yeah. Uh Brett, uh, what have we learned today? Well, we've learned that you have turned a glorious 48 years old, and we're so happy for you. Mm -hmm. uh, one. Uh two, I need to figure out where the fuck the track is. Mm -hmm. The the other one. And we've learned that when you've had enough edibles. It's beer. It's beer. It's beer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mike TV, what, uh, what can we promote of yours? Um, oh, I'm doing rock. I'm doing. So I've been in Austin almost a full decade, and I'm just doing some rock posters. Um, it's MikeTV.com forward slash rock or forward slash posters. Um, I'm just doing some rock. I like. I, I haven't. Don't really have rock and roll posters that people can hang up in their house. So I was like, I'll make some rock and roll posters. Oh, you're so, yeah. making yeah, yeah, posters yeah, yeah, of your yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, like real limited run rock and roll posters. Yeah. Like, yeah. Awesome. And that's a Kickstarter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So go MikeTVLive.com yeah, yeah, slash that's posters. That's where you need to go. Uh, heck yeah, shine on you, crazy diamond! It's been a great night. You keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bad, a later night, a past the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and left tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>